Are you looking for a way to have custom, custom fields? If so, you're going to want to check out Amazing Fields. Here's how it works. Once you've gone ahead and installed it, you're going to click the button up here and it's going to ask you to authorize with Trello. You're going to approve your account. Doo -doo -doo. And from here, you can see you've got a table view here of your cards. But what's really exciting is we want to actually create fields. So we're going to go over here and click settings. And this is where you can see all of the different um, settings with amazing fields. And we're going to start by adding a field, which lets you collect more information on your cards. So you can click add and you can see some of these different types that you have. Um, there are so many different options. We're just going to do a basic text field here. Uh, go ahead and choose one and you can give it a name. Let's call this Brittany Field, and you can change the different types. You can do all of these settings. We'll come back to them in a second, but go ahead and close this out. And you can see now on every card, I have this amazing field section with this custom field that I want. I can open it up and edit the field, do whatever I want. It can show up on the front. Super cool, huh? If you want to do more, you can go back in here, go to settings, click on that field, and you can make changes such as determining where you show it. You can make it multi-lines. You can adjust the width of it. You can even choose where the label, aka what you call the field, is shown. You can change the color and add conditional rules, and there's so much more. That's just the tip of the iceberg. And if you want more help, just click this question mark, and you can search the docs or click the ask button to ask a live human for help. I look forward to see what you think about this, and can't wait to see what you create.